Frank is wearing his fancy leather jacket. It's the French way, isn't it, Frank? Well, it's, well, I don't know. I, I'm, I came with my scooter, so I have to protect myself. You he know? came with his scooter, but he's not sure if it's still in the place that oh, he yeah. left it. But let's talk about Real Madrid, because they are the champions of this Champions League. It's a story that I keep saying that we have seen it play out time and time and time again in La Liga, Robo. You made the croissants representing yeah. Real Madrid. You got it correct. Uh, I didn't get the prediction correct. In terms no, you went with Liverpool in your prediction. But I have to say, I was really impressed with Real Madrid today. Yes. Mm -hmm. They live by chances, but there was some magnificent performance. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't. I believe we're not hearing Robbo. So, Frank, let's go to you. We'll try to sort out Robbo's mic in a second. Frank, <laughs> thoughts on how Real Madrid did it? Uh, well, I, you know, I, after five minutes, I realized that something was going wrong with uh, with Liverpool. Normally, they pre they give the uh, high pressure. They do what they have to do to make sure they put under pressure the, the team that they play against. Today, it wasn't the case. And I always said, you know, you don't you don't play well a final. You win or you lose a final. And Real Madrid, I have to say, made all ingredients, you know, especially defensively, to to do well. Mm -hmm. On top of it. The goalkeeper was absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. We, we talked about Danny Cavaral and the guys uh, said in the studio, the guy was, for me, the man of the match. He was a character. He showed that he was a warrior, that he didn't want to give up. I mean, that was fantastic from Real Madrid. Really disappointing from, uh, from Liverpool because they didn't play the way they normally play. And Rob, I'll lend you my mic, of course, when I ask you this question, because, again, we definitely have to get your opinion. And as Frank was sat beside me the whole time and we were saying this, time and time and time again that of course Liverpool are, are going there with the momentum and stuff but sometimes you just need this nitty gritty dirty way of winning the match is that something that Real Madrid has kind of perfected well I wouldn't say it was dirty I thought they played very well they defended well they had yes the keeper made four or five good saves but Edir Militao you talked about Carvajal Edir Militao was absolutely magnificent tonight he won challenges he looked quick he won balls in the air Valverde got the team high up the field on times they hit him with the, all their goal kicks they got it out to him on the right hand side he ran past Robertson time after time and I would also Casimiro didn't have a great game on the ball, but defensively, I thought he was magnificent. He, he intercepted, he got in between the centre-halves at the right time, he cut balls out that were played into the box. And when they needed to, they played around Liverpool's pressure. They, they, I mean, some of their intricate play, one-touch passing, two-touch passing, I thought was brilliant. I don't think Real Madrid got enough credit tonight. A couple of Real Madrid fans behind us screaming Benzema Ballon d'Or. Well, I'm sure we'll get to that chat in just a bit, Frank. But we, before, at the beginning of the week, we were talking about matchups and battles that we were looking forward to. Um, which one, I suppose, really impressed you or lived up to the expectation today? Well, you know, we were all looking for, forward to seeing uh, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold against Vinicius. But again, you know, I would have to go with. What uh, you expected happened? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well, even if uh, in the first 45 minutes I found uh, Alexander Arnold. You know, getting some uh, some mm. some tackles, uh, good tackles, good being in good position with Konate, um, taking care of him also in terms of uh, uh, covering him. But I have to say that that's the other side, and uh, really for me, what did Cavaral the whole game long? Mm. Really, <laughs> I, I don't have a, I don't have a word for that because the guy impressed me like I never seen him playing. I remember him being so. Uh, uh, annoyed by the the, f the pace of Mbappe, yeah. you know, and uh, getting a yellow card and laughing at it. But today he was, he had the pace, he had everything, the contract, the technique. He was, he was absolutely fantastic today. Frank was so excited watching Danny Carvajal today. He was saying, "This is a player that they don't make anymore." In he doesn't day believe football. to the, this new generation. He belongs to our generation. <laughs> he belongs guy. to their generation. He said he's a scrapper and he absolutely made it kind of part of the beautiful game. Did you enjoy that kind of little battle there that he was having? Yes, I did. The first uh, couple of times Diaz got the ball, he played it square and made a run in behind Carvajal, and Mane didn't pick the pass out. Had he picked the right pass out or got it on the right angle, Diaz was in. And Carvajal realised that after a while, so he said, I've got to get tight and win the first ball that's played up to him, or I've got to drop off as he plays it square. And he did it perfectly. And I, I was impressed by his pace. I thought he'd get outrun by Diaz, but there was two or three times when he actually outrun Diaz. So he was magnificent. One of the things, if we're going to talk about Liverpool, I know, of course, we watched him in the Carabao Cup final, we watched him in the FA Cup final, um, and I remember there was a little birdie talking, should this be a concern that it went all the way, it's gone to penalties, and they hadn't scored, would they kind of bring that into this Champions League final? Was that much of a concern, and did it kind of play out? Well, I was 
much concerned about the, the the last game that they played and the last 30 minutes of every game they played where I find them physically a little bit tired. Mm. The season has been long, mm. they, won, they won trophies, but they play many games and the 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 temper the how do you say the rhythm that you put into the game when you're a Liverpool player is 100%. Mm. But you have to pay that price at a certain point. Mm. And I think today they show that the player on these holidays. Liverpool needs to score in that first 20 minutes when they were on top. The first couple of times that Real Madrid tried to, tried to play out from the back, Liverpool won it and you thought this is going to be difficult for Real Madrid. They needed to score then because once the game got slowed down, that's when Real Madrid started to play their football. That's when they played around the pressure. That's when they played those clever one and two touch passes. They could just leave two up front and still keep the ball and still pose a threat. It was really good from Real Madrid today. I give a credit to somebody that I, he was my uh, physical coach. I don't know if you say that in English. Uh, it was Antonio Pintus working for Real Madrid. That guy is the most talented coach that I've ever seen. We is he still working with you? Because you're looking fit. Oh, uh, no, no, he should, he should, he should be next to me very soon because I need it. But what he did with the players, you know, we're talking about Modric, mm. Cross, Casimiro, with mm. a certain age, Benzema. We feel that Benzema. we kept saying that we're old and we were probably worried about how they'd stack up today. We thought Cross was going to come off. He, we thought he'd be the first off. He, he wouldn't be able to cope with the intensity of the game. And we thought he had to get out. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did well. He, he, I mean, he, he got on the ball. Antonio Pintus, so. yeah. Adam, my friend. Oh, fitness coach galore. And speaking of looking fit, some people behind us were just screaming Zizou. I think they think one of these boys is Zinedine Zidane. That'd be quite interesting. <laughs> we're not going to headbutt you, don't worry. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.